Hello, experience team. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be talking to you right now. Um, I'm in upstate New York, and I miss you guys so much. I've been praying for you. I've been thinking about you. I've been following what the Lord's doing in your lives. I was excited to watch the um, graduation. I've been reading your blog posts, um, and it just gives me so much joy to to have spent a few days with you guys. And um, I wanted to let you know that that I'm I'm praying for you and thinking about you guys. And um, I just wanted to share a few thoughts um, about this last year, what it's been for me uh, post the experience, and hopefully those are a help to you. Um, so. First of all, I just want to say I'm coming to you as somebody who is going through this process with you. Um, by no means do I have anything figured out. <laughs> um, but but hopefully, just a couple of thoughts will be a help for you guys as you as you go home, as you you're trying to figure out how do these these things the Lord showed me, how do they fit into my life? Um, first thing I wanted to say was get used to not having the answers. Um, <laughs> It's kind of funny, but um, some of you guys may have gone, well, you may have, your world may have turned upside down at the experience. Mine did. If you went there to the experience um, with your life figured out, you um, probably realized that you don't have, <laughs> you don't have your life figured out. If you went like me with a bunch of questions and few answers about what the Lord wanted you to do with your life, how it was going to work out and whatnot, you may have left like me with even more questions and fewer answers. And even if the Lord revealed some grand, great vision to you um, about specifics, what He wants you to do, I can almost guarantee you went home with um, so many questions of how. Like, how does this work out, these things that God's shown me? How do I practically assimilate them into my life, you know? So, um, so get used to having that because we are not, as followers of Christ, we are not seeking answers, but we are seeking Jesus. And um, he will give you, personally, just the right combination of questions and answers to bring you to a place of full surrender. And um, it's really not about figuring the journey out. It's about having the journey with Jesus. And he'll do whatever he needs to get you to that point of just being fully surrendered to him. And that's all he wants. Um, if nothing seems like it's happening, if you go home and there's like nothing happening, you don't, you don't feel like the Lord is working, maybe he wants you to be surrendered to that. Maybe he, he wants to find you in that place and um, be okay with that, you know? Um, <laughs> my advice would be to um, embrace surrender, um, to actively trust God. It's don't worry about tomorrow. Be faithful with what He has given you today. Um, don't don't worry. Um, I know it sounds funny, but God. God has this journey for us, and he wants us to enjoy it. And he doesn't want us to be worried about it. Um, so I wanted to share a verse with you, um, Philippians 1, 6, that the Lord who's faithful, who has begun a good work in you is faithful to complete it into the day of Jesus Christ. And um, just rest in that. You know what I mean? I also wanted to share a few words on um, coming home and it seeming like nothing is happening, you know what I mean? And the your friends, your peers, your parents, your family, your church, they didn't go through the same amount of growth as you did and you almost come back and you, you, <laughs> you just go back to who you were and, you, and you're not, it almost is like it didn't happen. And you have to spend time reminding yourself, the experience did happen. <laughs> God did do this work. Um, and sometimes it's hard because you, you wonder if the Lord really did change you, if what happened was real. Um, 
And I wanted to remind you that it is. That no matter how you feel, what happened was real. And that God did a great work in your life and he is continuing to. God is working always in the shadows. He's, whether he's working out in the open or not, he's, he is always working. And you can't, can't always see it. And a lot of times he's doing his greatest work when you cannot feel it. Um, so whether you go home and God is just rolling and there's so much happening or you go home and you're just, okay, God, what's next? <laughs> um, God is working and, and rest, rest in that. Um, so actively trust, embrace surrender, rest in that the Lord has done his work. And one last thing I wanted to share with you guys um, if you are feeling alone, if you are feeling like what happened didn't happen, um, I, I just wanted to share you with you this this um, sheet that I got when you guys came to Stranded. And I put your names on it, and I got your faces, and um, your spiritual names, and the places that the Lord's put on your heart. And I've been praying for you guys. Um, each individual person, what the Lord has for you, the things he was putting on your heart, they were real. And um, they're going to happen. The Lord's going to fulfill the things that he put on your heart. Maybe not the way or the time you wanted, but be encouraged because today is a blessing from the Lord. And just actively rest, um, be fully surrendered, embrace surrender. Don't necessarily seek all the answers, um, but seek the face of Jesus and um, he'll walk with you um, today so um, that's that's about it um, I just also wanted to say if any of you are in upstate New York at all in the future let me know because you gotta come see Niagara Falls you can stay at my house um, you guys are always welcome and know that you are a part of a family that is international and the Lord is working and um, you are part of that. Um, so many blessings. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And um, thank you.